welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Natasha. And today we're going to be doing a reaction to Carolina Groskami. People have been asking for her for quite some time now, and she has many videos. So we're going to pick one that was on the request list. Why is India a role model for the world? But we did um, India's Swatch Bharat, which is a, a program trying to clean India. So getting toilets for everybody and just sweeping the streets and cleaning up the trash and making India as beautiful on the outside as the people are on the inside. And so this is like a huge thing. So this India is starting to become a role model for the world, but I'm interested to hear what she has to say of things that they've maybe done in the past that we don't already know about. So let's start it up. 2008, China is struck by a major earthquake. India offers 5 million US dollars to China for its relief activities for the victims of the earthquake. 2005, Pakistan is struck by an earthquake. India offers 25 million US dollars to the Pakistani government as a cash assistance, along with 15 million US dollars in in kind contributions from both private and governmental sources. 2010, Pakistan is suffering from massive floods. This time, India offers 25 million US dollars to Pakistan to help the victims of flood. Again, India comes to the rescue of yeah. its so-called arch rival. It's amazing. 2005, an Indian Air Force aircraft arrives at the Little Rock Air Force Base in Arkansas in the USA. It is carrying 25 tons of relief supplies for victims of Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. On multiple occasions, Did Sri Lanka has received humanitarian assistance that. from India worth more than 120 million US dollars. In March 2017, it was revealed that India had been a net donor of foreign aid in the last three years. It had provided more aid to foreign countries than it had received. Wow. Not only that, in 2004, when India was itself affected by its tsunami, it still went on to send help to other nations like Thailand, Indonesia and Sri Lanka. It deployed 14 Navy vessels, nearly 1,000 military personnel, and several dozen helicopters and airplanes to Sri Lanka. It does not matter what part of the world it is, Africa, America, or anywhere else. If there is a crisis, India is often seen as the first country responding to it. During the 2010 Yemen crisis, more than 25 countries asked for help from India to rescue their citizens and help them to evacuate. Germany, USA, Sweden, France, just to name a few. As recently as 2015, India extricated nearly 2,000 nationals who belong to 48 different countries, including many from the United States, the European Union and its neighboring countries. In most cases, it is India's Navy, its Air Force, its National Airline and its Ministry of External Affairs which handle such operations. It does not matter whether it is a high-risk conflict zone or a post-natural disaster area. India is always there for the nation suffering from a crisis. Apart from providing cash assistance, food assistance and humanitarian assistance, it also partners many nations in post-calamity recovery and in various mm -hmm. development projects. India has 279 lines of credit which are worth 28 billion US dollars in 63 nations in Africa, no, like Asia, and Latin America, the Caribbean, and Oceania. Of this, 254 projects aggregating nearly 4.7 billion US dollars have been completed, while 194 projects worth nearly 19 billion US dollars are under implementation. Whether it is search and rescue missions or more uncommon situations like combating piracy in the Gulf of Aden, where India sent almost 30 warships, escorting more than 1,500 ships and blocking nearly 30 piracy attempts. Its army is globally admired for its humanitarian nature and for its potency. How many of us know that the Reserve Bank of India provided financial assistance to the governments of Maldives, Bhutan and Sri Lanka when they faced foreign yeah. currency liquidity shortage? How many of us know that India is one of the largest contributors to the United Nations peacekeeping missions? Whether it is Sri Lanka, Afghanistan or Nepal, in post-conflict scenarios, 
India is often seen extending its long-term support to facilitate reconstruction and stabilization. In South Asia, if any crisis emerges and if people fear for their lives, they look to India first, a nation which since time immemorial has provided a sanctuary to those affected by any type of persecution. The UN has even praised India's efforts by citing its refugee policy as a moral for other countries. Whenever a country asks India to mediate and help in reaching peaceful settlements, India plays a constructive role. Yeah. Its experts provide technical assistance to other countries in designing new constitutions and also in helping them to hold elections smoothly. Globally, India is involved in assisting other countries in infrastructure development. But what makes India even more special is its keenness to help other countries to become self-dependent in the long run. A good example of that is India's Pan-African e-network, which was built at a cost of 125 million US dollars and encompasses more than 48 African nations, bridging the digital divide and providing top quality education and training. It was the brainchild of former Indian president APJ Abdul Kalam. India also provides scholarships to many foreign nationals, and in 2011, during the India Africa Forum Summit, it pledged 5 billion US dollars in aid to Africa in the form of concessional loans. And let us not forget that globally, most countries are beneficiaries of India's cheap medicinal drugs, which have saved millions of lives. Well. India's style of foreign aid is quite different to the Western countries, which generally provide conditional aid. India respects the sovereignty of other countries, and unlike many other nations, Indian aid programs are not designed to interfere with the beneficiary's domestic policies or its demographics. India's cultural and spiritual values are all about humanitarianism. India believes in the selfless nature of giving. India's foundational wisdom of universal brotherhood is reflected in its actions. Wow, I, this was enlightening to say the least. You know, I didn't know how many things India does, you know? Yeah. Just amazing the amount of people they've helped being, you know, when you, sometimes when you think of India, or at least what the media puts out there about India, you see a lot of the slums, you see a lot of, um, you know, just not uh, uh, prosperous usually. And to hear the list goes on and on, you know, and um, help of all kinds too. Mm -hmm. so. Helping with like the floods and the earthquakes and how the people would help India with, and they had an earthquake and then it's just like, how it just how everyone helps everyone and it shows that like we're all people that will help you in the time of need yeah a human like india is so diverse and you know something we've been learning more and more about doing this channel and it just shows like the compassion that they show towards others like it doesn't matter the skin color it doesn't matter what you look like your religion um you know you need help or you need something that we help you and um, uh, helping with the earthquakes helping with the floods you know sending you know military when they need it rescuing people taking in people like just so many things that that they've lent hands and I didn't I mean even the U.S. I didn't realize they came here when Katrina with food and stuff for um, you know it's just and and don't I don't watch a lot of the news so don't get me wrong. I just feel like this was this list was pretty long for a lot of stuff that we don't hear India is giving money and and maybe they don't really want the recognition for it. You know, they're doing it out of the kindness of their hearts. They're doing mm -hmm. it to help others because that's the good thing to do. And maybe they don't necessarily want a pat on the back for it. Yeah. You know, um, but this was just amazing. We did um, Anjali and I did the UN speech where Modi was here speaking about the many different accomplishments that they've done with this watch Bharat, with um, getting uh, health insurance for people, with um, just so many things, and, and that they're starting to become the people that 
these smaller countries that need to do some of these developing things are looking up to, and they're starting to catch up with the bigger countries and, and just becoming this the, the country to look for in the next you know few years, I think. So just amazing. So I hope you guys like this. And if you like this video, click that like button, subscribe, and join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.